Wilva is the main employer on the island, uh, or one of the main employers of the island. We're looking at about 650 employers working here. Um, many of my family work here, many of my friends work here. Um, was probably, in terms of percentages, I'm not too sure in regard to the population, but um, it, it is definitely an imp important factor of of bringing money into the island and ensuring that people on the island stay on the island and that there's work here for them. Um, this is where Wilva is located. As you can see, um, I'm very lucky to be working in such a beautiful area. Not many people can say that they work by the sea um, and surrounded by countryside, so every day when I come to work is a, is a treat, really. And where are we at the moment? Um, at the moment, we're located um, about 160 foot up this reactor building here um, at the charge face, which we've got uh, behind us there. And that's the, basically the core of the operation? That's the hub of the operation. Everything's important, but without uh, that reactor over there, we wouldn't have the heat to turn the water into steam, and therefore we wouldn't have the turbines running. Uh, therefore no electricity. Currently we're standing on top of one of the reactors here at Wilver. Underneath each one of these holes are a series of fuel elements. When you first started to, to, to work here, were you at all apprehensive about working in a nuclear facility? Uh, no, I wasn't apprehensive. Uh, I know the safety record that Wilver has. Both my parents work here, so I know the, uh, the measures that are put in place to ensure the safety of everybody that works here. Inside of that building there, there's a reaction going on which leaves uh, uranium and plutonium, two of the most radioactive, most dangerous elements known to man. And that's created as a waste, as a byproduct of the process in the electricity generated. And this radioactive waste um, uh, can cause cancers, can cause genetic defects. I mean, its impact in terms of the, the threat to public health is absolutely enormous. And this threat remains for hundreds of thousands of years. Yes, it's, it's a concern that um, where does the waste go? Um, who looks after it? Um, is it sufficiently contained? Where does it go in the end? You know, what will what will happen to it? Yes, um, yes, I'd say it's a concern. The simple fact is that you cannot deal with the waste. Uh, it's not only hugely expensive to deal with and to kind of keep contained, but there is no safe way of dealing with it, and it presents a a very real threat to both members of the public and the environment. And the thing is, when there are other technologies that can deliver much more effectively in tackling climate change, such as renewables and energy efficiency, that don't leave this toxic legacy, we believe we should be investing in that type of technology to deal with the problem that we face. You know, in terms of environmental impact, there's, you know, in, in my mind, there's only kind of one environmental impact of the nuclear power station, and that's when it's shut down, whereas in a more sort of conventional fossil-fired site, you're seeing those emissions day after day, hour after hour, when that unit's generating. So, you know, I, I personally, on, you know, for an environmentalist sort of point of view, a nuclear power station is much cleaner the problem with a nuclear power station is that it remains radioactive for thousands of years after you've stopped using it. So a plant that may be operating for 20, 30, even 40 years, you then have to look after for 4,000 years. And the amount of time and energy that goes into that is a consideration that has to be added on to the energy that you use now. There's quite a number of nuclear power stations now being de decommissioned all around the country. And it's not a five minute job, it's not even a five year job. Some estimates are saying it might take a hundred years, hundred and fifty years to complete the decommissioning and the clean up operation. And that's from a, a nuclear power station that's maybe only been in action for forty years. 